Good day, my fellow Calders, and welcome to Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting Tutorial Series. That's a lot of words. Uh, in, this is going to be an introduction video to this series of scripting tutorials, where I will show you the very basics of starting off a game mode in Gary's Mod. We have a slight problem though. Garry's Mod 13 isn't released yet, at least not when I'm making this video. It's gonna be released on September 24th. So... yeah. Uh, I've been sneaky though, and I've gotten myself a be beta version of Garry's Mod 13. You can also do that if you go to garrysmod.com and log in with your Steam username. Uh, of course you have to have Garry's Mod in your game uh, library and uh, download the Garry's Mod beta. Do that, you should just do that. And uh, experiment with it. What you will also need is a dedicated server. You do not need this, but I really recommend it. Just have a local dedicated server for Garry's Mod. There's Tons of videos on how to get these dedicated servers, so I'm probably going to make one myself, but uh, before that, just go ahead and Google or YouTube search uh, Garry's Mod dedicated server install or setup. Uh, here we have a dedicated server. This is the main directory of the Garry's Mod uh, beta uh, folders. And what we're gonna be working with is the add-ons folder, the Lua folder and the game modes folder. Mainly the game modes folder. So why don't we just go ahead and make our game mode? Open the game modes directory. Ignore that Tempest folder. It's not gonna be in your uh, game mode folder. It's something I'm working on. And make a new folder called example. This, the folder should be named something that represents the game mode you're making. It cannot contain any spaces and signs and such. Not any very special signs, at least. So, keep it simple. And um, open it. Make a new TXT file. Call it the exact same name as your folder. Example of TXT. The first line in this TXT should be game mode. Make a table like this. And this table will contain all the basic information that Garry's Mod needs need to have to know that this is game mode and what to do with it. What kind of game mode is this? The first value is going to be base. If you've watched my 2D uh, Love 2D scripting tutorials, you might remember the entity system where we had the base entity. This is kind of the same deal. Uh, we will base the game mode on this game mode. We will derive the functions from this base game mode into our new game mode. We will blend them. Uh, Garry's mode has been as kind as to make a base game mode for us, so just put base in, in that value. The next value is going to be title. This is going to be the title that is shown on the server browser when people search for your server. The game mode uh, the, the name under the game mode list is going to be this, so let's call it example, with a large E. Uh, this title can contain anything, spaces and everything. Uh, a game mode can also have designated maps with a special prefix. So if your game mode, for example, has... Uh, this sign has to indicate that it's a prefix. Uh, so the example game mode will have maps that's ex underscore something. You can choose to use any map, but the ex maps is going to be designated to this game mode. Uh, the menu system is a strange thing. It allows you to hide the game mode from the ser from the the list of game modes when you're making a new server, starting creating a new server. I mean. 1 means that it's shown, and 0 means that it's hidden. 
from the lists. Workshop ID. You can't do anything yet because you need to upload this game mode to, to get a workshop ID. So you will uh, will have to update the game mode with the workshop ID when you've uploaded it. You know what workshop is, I hope. Uh, settings is going to be a nested table, a table inside a table, tableception. This table is going to contain special commands for our game mode. Uh, just like sv underscore cheats or mp underscore fall damage in the console. The name of our, uh, first of all, first of all, we need to make a table inside the table again. Tableceptionception. There we go. First value is going to be name, which is the, the name of the command which you have to write inside the console to ac access it. Uh, example game underscore test. That's what we're gonna call it. Then the text. Uh, let's just call it test right there. Then we have the help, which is going to tell you what this does. It's. Um, we're just gonna say. Testing schnizzle. And then uh, the type of command. It's going to be numeric. So you have to put a number inside the, the arguments for this command. Default 1. So that means that it's going to be 1 by default. So when you're starting your game mode, ex underscore test is going to be 1 until you run the command and put another, another number in it. Control S, my friends. Save it. Do whatever you want. Uh, then we need some folders to make this work. It's gonna be game mode. It's going to be the folder that contains all the Lua files. For, yeah, the main functions of our game mode. And we have the entities folder, which is the folder that contains all the scripted entities. Which we're gonna get closer into. And we have the content. I think it was content. Just gonna cheat and. Yeah, it was content. Always, always forget that. That's going to contain uh, the custom f music, sounds, textures, models, etc. for our game mode. And we're gonna stop here for now, because I'm not sure what Gary's gonna do the last two weeks. I might just add uh, some tutorials on further game mode development. But for now, see you guys, and may the bro code be with you.